Today we're at Schumacher Homes Greenville Spartanburg location and we are standing inside of one of their brand new models, the Hook of Falls. And as you can see behind me right here, it is amazing. This home is part of their modern retreat collection and it is a three bedroom, two and a half bath sitting inside of 2,265 square feet. The front of the home features a beautiful two car garage with a black garage door and some nice modern sconces that sit on either end. As you work your way up to the front door, you'll find a gorgeous modern doorway as well as a nice covered overhang. This home also features a black board and batten siding with some nice wood siding accents that really give this home that extra wow factor. On the front of the home, as well as all the way around the home, you will find a number of windows that really help provide a tremendous amount of natural light on the inside. As you move around to the back of the home, you will find even more outdoor living space, which really is the showstopper of this home. In the middle, you'll find a beautiful courtyard that has a nice fire pit, and that sits in between both the great room and several of the bedrooms. Off of the great room, you will find a massive covered back deck as well, which has some skylights as well as just plenty of open space to hang out. From there, you can easily enter through the sliding glass door, leave it open, enjoy some nice breeze. This home right here, it is something else. The outside of this home is absolutely spectacular, but as you can tell, the inside of this home, it's got some fun things. So what do you say we go get inside and see what all we can find? All right, y'all have no idea how excited I am to tour this home. <laughs> I love kind of the, the, the modern look to the homes. And this one was still under construction when I first came down here. So I was super excited when I heard that it was completed. And tropical storm or no tropical storm, I had to come and see it. So this is your front door right here. I love the door. Really nice modern look, great big windows. And then of course, as you walk in, you get views straight back into the courtyard, which I absolutely love as well. This is, uh, I could definitely see myself hanging out here, especially with the fire pit and everything like that. I like that a lot. Now, you could probably do a number of things back here uh, if you wanted to. It would probably look like, like, a, like a garden would be really neat too. I could just see like, I don't know, things planted everywhere, especially with the natural elements of the exterior of the home. I think that would look really sharp. And then this is my second favorite part, which are these beautiful ceilings and the great room and kitchen and dining room. Just, I love it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start over here. This is a neat spot too, um, which I saw from the outside. I haven't been back here yet, but this is a cool little office space, kind of tucked away behind the kitchen which I like a lot. Pretty nifty little area. It's got more windows that really help bring in a lot of light. And then coming into the kitchen, y'all, there's so much happening in this kitchen too. Beautiful counter right here with the waterfall edge. I like that. Nice, almost marbly look up underneath of the counter. Beautiful pendant lights. Those are pretty cool. And this island is massive. Undermount sink sitting right here in the middle. With beautiful views back out into the great room. I cannot get over these ceilings. Like I love that they brought it inside and look how it kind of flows all the way out onto the covered patio back there or porch. Dang. So on this side, plenty of drawers over here too. I like how the, the overhang of the counter kind of covers them a little bit. Backside, nice big stove top over here. Very nice. Got the built-in oven and the microwave. Hoo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> Nice pantry door right there. That's pretty neat. Good sized pantry in here too. I love, I, I, I love the wood shelves, how it kind of wraps around. And it almost, man, this thing, it would lead you to believe that it's gonna, yes, granted, I know 
I knew it was a pantry, but I thought it was going to open up this way or this way. You know what I mean? I didn't know that the whole door was going to be a pantry. So that was pretty neat. Got like a little buffet over here with a massive transom window. Ooh, and like the backsplash kind of wraps around to the window seal. Pretty neat. All right. So from the kitchen, let's go ahead and hop into this dining room. Love the light fixture right here. I think that looks fantastic. Great big dining room table too. And just, you got that massive window right here. Just, I mean, take, look at all of the windows. I love the skylights too. I think those look really good. And I like how the, the wood kind of wraps up into them. You know what I mean? All right, into the living room or great room. Beautiful light fixture, more big windows into the, the courtyard area. Let's get over here real quick. There is a lot happening in this home for sure. So nice living room space and then out onto the back patio. Then that has even more skylights. That's pretty neat. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it was raining. Luckily, thank goodness, we got a break in the rain just long enough to capture some shots on the exterior because, oh man, I drove 10 hours down here yesterday. Well, I'm, I've been doing a whole thing, going back over all of the Schumacher homes in North Carolina and down in the Greenville area so I can get them up on TikTok and all that type of stuff. Um, so I did that, and then this morning I went from Asheville down here to Greenville, and today was supposed to be the worst day of this storm. But thankfully, thankfully, I had about 30 minutes of no uh, rain or anything, so I was able to get the drone up and stuff. Whew, that would have been, that would have been bad. That would have been sad. <laughs> All right, Coming down the hallway on the opposite side of the home. A cute little powder room over here. I love these countertops. I think that looks pretty nice. The backsplash looks pretty cool too. Ooh, look at this door. So nice, kind of coat closet maybe? Um, linen closet? One of those two things. Man, there's a a lot happening in here so it kind of there's a their doorway going this way we'll check that out right now i guess <laughs> that hallway kind of goes for a little bit i wonder ooh, look at the ceilings in here doesn't quite go all the way up to the top more like accenty things Ooh, this is nice look at that back wall right there I love how they ran all of that stuff through. This setup is something else. Ooh, I think this is the master bedroom, which is cool. Could you imagine? Let's, let's check it out. You wake up in the morning, you know what I mean? Got a nice little view out into the trees. Whew, that's pretty cool. Got some nice light fixtures on either side of the bed. And then coming back home here into the closet. Nice step-in closet. It's pretty nice that it sits right behind the bed too, which is pretty interesting. <laughs> Got the tub. Pretty fancy. Got all the crank out windows on either side of it. Beautiful floating vanity right here too. Look at these lights. Got the step-in shower. And I love this backsplash right here. Or I guess it wouldn't be a backsplash in a shower, but the tile surround looks pretty neat. And then all the way at the back, nice little water closet. I'm actually kind of glad we came into this one first. That wall right there, though. Man. That thing is it's my favorite. I'm going to go. I've been taking pictures of all this stuff. You know, things I want in my future home. 
All right, coming down the hall, we're gonna work our way back to the other two bedrooms, I would imagine. So another floating vanity right here. I love these countertops. Again, same ones as in the powder room. You got the shower and tub combo with the tile surround going all the way up. Holy moly, look at the size of that shower head. That thing is, that's huge. All right. Uh, there is attic access right here in the hallway. And then into the first of the two secondary bedrooms. This window right here, this sits kind of on the front side of the home, uh, looking out towards the garage. I love these closet doors though. Looks like almost like castle-y. Like if you were to go into a castle, you know what I mean? That's what I think it looks like. And then into the second bedroom. Pretty neat. Got the bunk beds in here. Good size rooms too. Well, I'm not uh, disappointed. I'm gonna say that. Uh, this thing is very nice, has some super cool features. This is the mudroom back here. Uh, got a little sitting area over here. It's a fancy little bench top too, you know what I mean? And then into the laundry room. Now, I love this home. There's another one in Ohio that's new too uh, that I haven't toured yet. I think we're going to try and get to that. I might have to wait until springtime. Winter is coming on, but this is the garage door right here. It is locked right now, so can't show you that, but it is, it's a two car garage, but man. All right, let me know what you think about this home down in the comments. I absolutely love the ceilings and this courtyard over here in that master bedroom. Oh my goodness, that thing was phenomenal. If you want any more information on this model or Schumacher Homes, I'll leave that information for you in the description as well as over at timothyplivingston.com where you can search this floor plan as well as all the floor plans that we've toured across the country and you can see if they're built in your area. You can search by number of bedrooms, square footage, all different types of stuff. So definitely go check that out. Now as far as the price of this home, it starts at approximately $584,000 according to their website. Of course that may or may not be the price that you pay if you decide to make this home yours. With all that being said, thank you so much for touring with me today. Do me a favor, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, my name's Timothy. I'll see your beautiful face in the next one.